Please rise for our beautiful bride. She's got a gathered here today in this beautiful place to celebrate the union of Angie and Kyle. Who presents this bride for marriage? We do. Thank you. Please be seated. My name is Pastor Eddie Curry, and on behalf of the bride and groom, I welcome you. <laughs> Kyle and Angie would like you to know how appreciative and overwhelmed they are to have you all here today to celebrate and share their love and joy. In fact, Kyle says of family and friends, I have put them all through multiple whirlwinds. <laughs> I am not here without all those who are present today. Angie agrees. She told me, my family and friends have helped me through some pretty hard times. I wouldn't be who I am today without my friends and family by my side. You see, both Kyle and Angie journeyed a while along different paths before they found each other. But these journeys made them stronger. With every step along the way, they became the individuals they were meant to be. Only then, with a little help from all of you, did they find one another. Angie said, they have been so supportive of my relationship and love for Kyle. This day would not be possible without them. Both bride and groom bring a wealth of family and friends who have loved them unconditionally and supported them no matter what. On their behalf, thank you for being here today. In their love for each other, which they publicly express in this ceremony, Angie and Kyle demonstrate not only their joy in the present, but their commitment to share the future together. This is a time of celebration for all of us who know and love them. The ideal marriage is the voluntary, deliberate, and full commitment of two individuals to one another. It is a commitment made to the exclusion of all others, placed above all others, and is entered into with the hope, desire, and firm intention that it will last forever. Kyle, is it your intention that this union shall be placed above all others, exists to love and support Angie in all her endeavors, and is made with an earnest and loving heart? It is. Angie, is your intention that this union shall be placed above all others, exists to love and support Kyle in all his endeavors and is made with an earnest and loving heart? Yes. Friends and family, have you come here to witness and support this union of Angie and Kyle with love, joy, and open hearts? Please answer by shouting, we have. Yeah. We have! <laughs> I think they support you. I think it's good. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's father, Troy Durbin, will now offer a blessing of prayer.
We ask your blessing on the sinner. Amen. Our reading today is from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12, and will be read by Angie's nieces, Christy and Kelly Brennan. It is one of uh, life's richest surprises when the accidental meeting of two individual, individuals leads them to proceed together along a common path. It is indeed one of life's finest experiences when a chance relationship grows into a permanent bond of love. So how does a guy who <laughs> describes himself as fun, outgoing, trouble, <laughs> hardworking, dedicated, and loving, how does a guy who says, I don't know, I'm pretty awesome, <laughs> how does that guy find a girl like Angie, a girl who describes herself as loving, loyal, and funny, a girl who says she loves giving hugs, how does that guy meet and fall in love with that girl? Well, it turns out the path to love and marriage, at least for Kyle and Angie, comes in a single word, karaoke. <laughs> Notice there is no karaoke machine here right no, now. No, we left that out. Yeah. It seems this shared interest ultimately proved the thing that brought them together, but it was not a seamless start. It turns out that after being introduced by a friend, Mr. I don't know, I'm pretty awesome, was intimidated by our sweet little hug-loving Angie. It took another couple of chance meetings to lead to what became an all-night texting first date. Still, it took a while. Neither was looking for a relationship. Both had had their respective guard up. After a time, there was one more chance meeting. This time, Angie says, Kyle told me he would get me to like him. He had the patience of Job, and sure enough, he broke down my walls, and he did get me to like him again. Kyle remembers that night. We spent every second of the evening together. That was it. The rest is history. Actually, their history was just beginning to be written, and one of the first chapters will definitely recall the proposal. I had a very in-depth idea, Kyle said, which involved 18 holes of golf. The proposal would take place on the 18th green with family and friends present at the club, clubhouse as a surprise. But Kyle put his faith in what he called weather geniuses <laughs> who were calling for an 80% chance of rain and he scaled his plans back. It was simple. Get family and friends to meet at a local restaurant, keep the whole thing secret for Angie, and above all, keep calm. <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> family and friends, check. In fact, there were familiar cars in the parking lot when they arrived that went unnoticed by our unsuspecting Angie. Which means, check, <laughs> Angie was successfully in the dark. But what about keeping calm? You guys remember Mr. I don't know, I'm pretty awesome? Well, he had sweaty palms, was having difficulty breathing, and he was turning green. <laughs> Angie was so concerned she kept asking, are you okay? To which Kyle had the perfectly thought out answer, yeah, I'm just stressed out. <laughs> Angie said, I just thought he was hungover. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Kyle looked at Angie and said, I love you, and I want you to spend the rest of my I want to spend the rest of my life with you. He got down on one knee like a true gentleman 
and asked Angie to marry him. Then the sound of cheering from the 30 plus friends and family who had gathered for the surprise erupted. And that is what brings us here today. In each other, they have found their perfect person. Kyle says, I love her smile, I, I, her laugh and sense of humor. I love that she gets me. I love that she makes me laugh like no one else can. I love the way I miss her when we're apart. Angie says, Kyle is simply the most amazing person I know. He makes me a better person, and he believes in me more than anyone. So, there you have it. Angie and Kyle's love story. I've known Kyle since he was in high school. His good friend Ron Morgan and I gave him his first professional performing job. I have watched him grow, I have shared the stage with him, and I have attempted to direct him. <laughs> Kyle, you've grown into a man we can all be proud of. And Angie, it has been an absolute pleasure getting to know you. We are all so happy that you found one another. May you grow old together as you amuse each other with silly voices. May you continue to build on this happiness and melt each other's heart with a karaoke tune. May you always have the love and support of your family and friends as you build a family of your own. Your love story is beautiful, and may it be said that everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> Angie and Kyle have written their own wedding vows, composed of their own thoughts and emotions. Angie, oh boy. please join hands with Kyle and look into his eyes as you recite your vows to him. Okay, what accent should I? Whichever one you want. Okay, all right. British word. British? Yeah, no. The day we no. met. No, no, okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the day we met, my life changed forever. It isn't just because it led us to this altar, but for the simple fact that you fixed me. When we met, I was broken. I had a wall built around my heart, and I was convinced that no one, would, that no one could tear it down. But then there was you. Piece by piece, you tore that wall down. You sang to my heart, literally. <laughs> you were patient and kind and giving. You never gave up on me, and you loved me fiercely with every fiber of your being. Now my heart is overflowing with so much love and joy, I can't, I can't even contain myself. I'm so excited. <laughs> 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 my love for you cannot be measured, it just is. You are my favorite human, you are my person. I firmly believe we were meant for each other, and because of that, in front of our closest family and friends, I vow these things to you. To put us first, to fix you when you are broken, to remind you of who you are when you forget, to not roll my eyes when you listen to Gaither Vocal Band or David <laughs> Phelps, <laughs> and I'll play golf with you until you start reading me on a regular basis. Then we gotta, yeah. I vow to always tear your walls down, to be patient and kind and giving, and to sing to your heart whenever you need it the most, or whenever you play the piano for me. I will even eat the yellow Starburst just so you can have the last red one. Wow. That's a big, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, I promise, with all my heart I will never give up on you and I will love you fiercely with every fiber of my being until we breathe our last breath. I love you. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> all right, Kyle. Yeah, lucky me. <laughs> As you continue to hold hands, please look into Angie's eyes and rece recite your vows to her. Angie, I have to start this with, I love you. You are everything to me. You've changed my life in ways I didn't know were possible. You've restored a purpose in my life that I lost many years ago. When we found each other, I was in such a place where things they call love, happiness, and forever were simply made for movies or plays. I was fortunate enough to portray characters on stage that had found these things, and I stand in front of you today to tell you I played those roles all wrong. How could I have played them right without you? I had never known love like you've shown me. Uh, you have been my rock since our first date. We have only grown stronger through tough times and great times that have happened, and this is our Act One finale. 
I'm sure the future holds many challenges, but I vow to get through anything and everything with you. I promise to never stop dating you. I promise to be there for you no matter what. I promise you my heart for the rest of my life. Uh, where'd I go? <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Thank you for being my one and only. Thank you for being my leading lady and showing me what love and happiness truly are. You are my best friend and I am so excited to share forever with you. Act two is gonna be awesome. I love you very much. Great job, you guys. May I have the rings, please? <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> oh, good. A circle is a symbol of wholeness, perfection, and unity. Round like the sun, like the eye, like arms that embrace. Circles, for love that is given comes back round again and again. And like circles, Angie and Kyle's rings have no beginning and no end. So shall their love and commitment to each other. Angie, please place your ring on Kyle's finger and repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. Kyle, your response. I will forever wear this ring. I will forever wear this ring. As a sign of my commitment. As a sign of my commitment. And the desire of my heart. And the desire of my heart. All right, Kyle. Please place your ring on Angie's finger and repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. Angie, your response. I will forever wear this ring. I will forever wear this ring. As a sign of my commitment. As a sign of my commitment. And the desire of my heart. And the desire of my heart. Go ahead on up to the bottom. Angie and Kyle have chosen to perform a love letter wine box ceremony. This beautiful box was lovingly crafted by the hands of Angie's father. The box is lined with felt material taking, taken from a childhood poodle skirt of Angie's. It contains a bottle of wine, two glasses that once belonged to Angie's late grandparents, and these love letters, one from each to the other. The letters are sealed. Neither of you have seen what the other has written. The box will be sealed with two locks. This box will remain in a place of honor, prominently displayed in your home, as a constant reminder of your commitment to each other. Should you ever find your marriage facing what may seem like insurmountable differences, you are to open this box, sit and drink the wine together, and then separate and read the letters you wrote to one another. By reading these love letters, you'll reflect upon the reasons you fell in love and chose to marry each other here today. The ultimate hope, however, is that you will never have any reason to open this box before your fifth wedding anniversary. Kyle and Angie, be careful. You may now seal the box. You have voiced your heartfelt vows and exchanged your beautiful rings. You have done so willingly and joyfully in the presence of loving witnesses. May you always have a special sense of your mission in life together. And may you never tire of the endless possibilities of exploring your shared existence. And long years from now, may you look at each other and be able to say, with you, I have lived the life I always wanted to live. 
With you, I have become the person I always long to be. It is with great happiness that I pronounce you are from this day forward and forever shall be husband and wife, wife and husband. You may now seal this promise with your first married kiss. <laughs> to introduce for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Angie Durbin. 